to gamble on the on the potential win, and it just didn't quite happen in his favor that way. So this is gonna be losers final. The winner of this will get a chance to play Void in Grands. Will it be Larry with the run back or I'm Hip who will uh, take that claim? And already he's taken a, a decent amount of percent here. I feel like in general, this is one of those matchups where it's kind of difficult for Fox to function properly just because his hitboxes are very short. But you need long lasting ones to catch uh, small characters like Olimar, it's very difficult. But he's going to try and make this work. This is the run back uh, yeah. from Winner's side, I believe. Yes. Uh, Larry did beat uh, I'm Hip. So. It was 3 1, I believe. Mm -hmm. yeah. But that's not to say that uh, Fox still can't juggle this character. It's a very, uh, very nice matchup still uh, for him to yeah. get an easy kill for sure. here. The up airs are going to be a really big threat. I will say this, though. In, in the previous set, uh, I'm Hip was utilizing uh, the whistle a lot. So that down B does have armor frames. And he was able to get through a lot of these up airs. Despite that, though, uh, most of the time, Fox and Larry can frame trap that with an up tilt on the landing. Anyway, right. So. Tough spot. Back air right here. Not enough to do, do get the KO. 143% though. Got the ledge and a neutral air will do it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, get that edge guard. Very nice stuff from Larry. Recognize is that high enough percent where that would be able to be an option. Ooh, but the pickups with the down tilt. What's the option oh gonna my be? Oh god, dude. That was if he got that down smash, I would have been like, you're the best. You're the <laughs> best on here. Okay, using that nair. Again, another uh, strong cover wide oh, range the hitbox. Platform too. Oh, there it is, the armor frames. And that's like one position uh, when he gets the platform extension up there, like that he can use the armor reliably because he's not going to be able to land into an up tilt at, at that position. Right. Oh, the Nair. Ah, oh, he's trying to find a call out. Oh, but he's going to find a second one there. Uh, keeping up the pressure and then just uh, able to call out that roll. Yeah, 132%. Larry's still on his first stock. He finds a throw here, but he does not have a blue pigment, so he's not going to get the up throw. Just opting to, uh, for the stage control instead. Yeah, I like what Larry Larry's doing. He's waiting for the two Pikmin to be out just so that I'm able to have one left and then just burst in with an option before I'm able to try to recollect himself and potentially get uh, more pressure going. All right, there it is. He, try he meets the uh, the landing neutral air with the up air. Great anti-air from I'm Hip. Able to secure that stock, but he's still got one more to go before it's an even game. Up smash right here. That's an up air. Make it two, three, in fact. So much damage coming out from I'm Hip, and <laughs> even in this, per uh, even percentages on this stock, but again, he's still got one more to go. Oh, that back air. Very smart, uses the so Pikmin strong. to extend the, the hitbox there, and just able to make it last a little bit longer. Oh. That time, it didn't even need it, just went for it again. <laughs> That's still not enough to kill, get the KO, actually. Up smash, he's just gonna go for it. Oof. Is that there to land? I'm hip. It's got to take this stock now before things get too hairy. I mean, you can still make this happen because especially Fox is a very light character. This is his opportunity. What's he going to go for here? Oof. Immediate uh, Fox illusion just goes right through him. And yeah, platform chase. That'll yeah. be up there. I'm hip. Directional air dodge uh, towards the platform in order to avoid Larry's punish. So much lag after the directional air dodge that Larry had all the time in the world to do it anyways. Mm -hmm. Taking that game one. Uh, still... Not not a bad show from uh, I'm Hip. He did take a lot of percent. That's just kind of the nature of the matchup. As you said, like the juggles from Fox are going to be super dominant. Um, the key, I think, is going to be like being able to just like grab him, throw him on stage, and uh, edge guard him. So if you can two frame him, uh, which we've seen I'm Hip in the previous sessions do with success, he was able to uh, catch the illusion a lot at the ledge. So, yeah. Alrighty, let's see how this goes down. Going to town and see is a much wider stage, so we'll have to see if that space lets I'm hit have a little bit more breathing room than on stadium. If that doesn't seem the case. Uh, those that triple pl uh, platform setup is very good for Fox. Basically, it's like on Lilac, you know, when you try to play Whack a Mole, but it's yeah. almost the same way actually. Right, already 88% here. Larry just chasing with these up airs, catching the up tilt. More up airs coming out. Not, not a whole lot of them connecting, but just enough to get at least 120%. He's harassing him from below. I mean, he, Fox is a character fast enough where he can 
afford to be able to do that against a slow drifting character like Olimar. Ooh, so much damage from the white, but still trying to keep it up. Still on the chase down. Just trying to not let I hit breathe, like I said. And instead, opting for the damage coming from the burst oh options instead. Oh my god, that almost killed the illusion just outright. Uh, but actually set up for a potential edge guard. Jabs. Ooh, forward smash from across the stage. Really powerful stuff for my hip. And that's gonna take the first stock. What a comeback. Yeah, that, that was unfortunate. It was one of those situations where he thought he could extend himself a little bit further, but shield came up in time. That was a free punish. Yeah, definitely. So jumped the gun on calling it a comeback a little bit. He up was at super high percent after all. Any hit would pretty much do a trick. Oh, Very. Nice. Taking so much damage right now. Yeah, great call on the spot dodge, knowing that he wouldn't be able to get a true uh, plus combo on that, so that he just opted for the, okay, what's the best direction, or what's the best defensive option he's gonna do? He'll probably spot dodge, and he went for it, and it paid dividends for him. Okay, spacing out the back air, definitely searching for it. I mean, if anything, he recovered high, and he could have still kept the chase up with the up airs. Missing that up smash punish on the rollout. Ooh, the spot dodge, yeah. There's not quite much ending lag on that land controller, so you're not going to be able to find a super hard punish on that. Okay, two purples and a blue for I am hip in tow right now. This is really good for him. If he gets a grab, it'll be the stock. If he gets a strong hit with any of his aerials, it'll be the stock. Edge guard. Yes, an untackable for Larry Lur right there. Not only did he have so much damage, but the knockback from the purple Pikmin was enough to make that situation completely untackable. Larry still trying to figure out this kill. If he can't get that set up, he can <laughs> yeah. I mean, the stocks are just flying. Like, it doesn't matter uh, how... If, if so far I'm hip has been able to get these leads taking the stocks before Larry does but because of how much damage he's taking himself before able to being able to do so he's just uh, securing these stocks and, and this is what I'm saying right now 96% yeah, that was an interesting combo he did there. He used the purple and then it, it popped it back up from the tech situation and then he was able to get the blue hitbox afterwards. 150% on the Larry Lur. Very dangerous spot to be in, especially with a blue and a purple in his opponent's li lineup. The armor's gonna go through, but the damage still tacks on, and he potentially has the opportunity here to get him at the stage. Oh, but he throws out a nair, not a back air. All right, great landing with the forward air right there. Ooh, pivot grab into the up throw, and even on Town and City, it will confirm into the KO. I'm hit, putting himself on the board 1-1 now, looking much better than he was in the first set he had in Winterside, where uh, I believe Larry actually won two games before I'm hit was able to take one. Yeah. So, man, I can't believe Olimar is fast enough to <laughs> go past the illusion. Nice. That was, that was yeah. very, very nice. It looked like it was just barely enough, so he might have had to get a read and get ahead of the game. There. Oh, he totally knew that was coming. He, he definitely read Larry in that, and it worked out for him. So we're going to game number three. three on to two, Smashville. One. A completely different stage. Yeah. One of the smaller stages, uh, size-wise. Like the complete opposite, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> and only one consistent platform that makes it very difficult. Uh, okay. Uh, please no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that time I think he was trying to throw out the dare, but he accidentally grabbed the ledge first. So that could have been really yeah. bad for Larry, but he makes it back. It's uh, okay. <laughs> Not quite dead at zero yet. <laughs> uh, I mean, if anything, like it, that he may have actually, uh, I'm hit, maybe didn't even like really try to punish his heart or he didn't have the timing down, but uh, there he makes it back. Yep. And it's something that I didn't like, I didn't want to see, like, it's just like, you know, I, I never want to see players SD like that. <laughs> right, exactly. Oh. Shine Spike, not going to be able to get it that time, but still, it's the pressure on the potential edge guards. So I'm Hip's got to change himself and maybe force him to second guess what his recovery is going to be. All right, Daddy sense right here. Uh, strong hit from this purple pick will do the trick, and so will he's up there. Larry Lur confirming into the stock. 132% though, this could be easily brought back by I'm Hip. Catches the illusion with the down tilt. Really good option there. Um, see that against the illusion a lot since it comes out so fast and uh, hits below the ledge. It's a really great option for ledge trapping as well. Yeah. Oh, there's that pivot grab again on the illusion and the up throw securing another stock. Only taking just quite a, a like a medium amount of damage here. Right. Okay, directional or excuse me, just an air dodge off the stage. Let's see what he tries to go for here. 
still stuck at the ledge, but yeah, he's gonna trade out. Barely trying to make it back, but finally that nair is gonna allow him to get a reversal. Dash attack there, gonna be a uh, trade favorable for, whoa. That up smash looked like it was so far away from all of us. Yeah. It looked like it was like a decent thing. Still not quite enough to say Oh my that god, dude, <laughs> Larry going ham on that white Pikmin. Yeah. I mean, it, it makes sense because he doesn't want that white Pikmin in play at all. He's yeah. like, that's the damage racking Pikmin, get that out of here. He doesn't want that blue Pikmin either. That's a very dangerous one to be fighting against. Oh, that drift. He thought he was going to go down with a the landing there. He decides to go for a fair. Keeps himself in the air. And Larry Lair is not ready for that, but he's ready for that landing. Catches him on that platform. That single platform that so, covers up like a third of the stage is so valuable for Fox to catch people landing. All right, and he's got I Am Hip stuck to ledge once again. Throwing out these down tilts, facing himself properly. Okay, turn around grab. I'm, uh, Larry still control of the ledge right here. I'm hip trying to figure out how he can fix up his recovery. A neutral get up into a rollback is gonna do the trick for him. Oh, that up smash, that was still call out from I'm hip. He was trying to catch those landing airs. He clanked out that time around, but still he's able to get it a second time. And he's down only 59%. Yeah, 59, 69, make it 80. Larry with a lot of control here. Again, he's just keeping I'm hip either at the ledge or in the sky, and that's Olimar's main flaws, and the up air again for yet another stock. A 2-1 lead in this set for Larry Wurz. A lot of that had to do with the stage. Basically, you're either on the platform yeah. or you're trying to come down, and I'm there yep. sharking you underneath, and I dare you to try to come back down. So, very great stuff from Larry, just keeping his cool, and Knowing that, okay, if I go to a smaller stage, it's definitely going to work out. Hopefully, I'm hip. If he gets another chance, he'll ban that stage because that definitely was how he liked to, to play the matchup as Fox. And I'm hip opting for Kalos here. A really great pick. He's going to be able to survive longer. But with the counterplay, Larry also switching to the Wolf, which, uh, you know, we've seen this matchup a lot more, and it, it seems to be in favor of Wolf. Um, if not, then he definitely has some tools that work out <laughs> yeah. against Olimar very nicely. And uh, yeah, let's see if uh, I'm Hip is going to be able to bring us into a game five, or is this going to be a repeat of the last set with a 3 1 in Larry's favor? Mm -hmm. I think a big factor of why he made have uh, pick Wolf is that Wolf's lead trapping is very amazing <laughs> in this game. And he has that wide up air to cover the platform if they try to jump to get up uh, from the stage, too. So he has a lot of options to keep them off stage. Quite can't do that with Fox, maybe. And so he decided to go to this character instead. Absolutely down to that ledge. So much percent off of these ledge traps. I mean, we saw uh, Larry do it to uh, I'm him in the first game, or in the last game. Just kept them trapped on the ledge for so long. And Fox doesn't have the best ledge trapping tools in this game anymore, especially with the nerf to up tilt. Right. But Wolf, on the other hand, he has all the tools. I mean, not only does his uh, down smash and his forward tilt come out really fast, but they also two frame. And down smash just hits so be far below that you can catch people recovering before the two frame window. I'm hit trying to make some kind of uh, momentum going on this first stock, catching him on the air to air, catches him on that platform, just throws the red on there, sticking him on. So not quite working though, trailer now still has the advantage again, but hit the grab. Oh man. And this is a uh, reminder, this is I'm hip's counter pick, so it may actually be a bit of a butt. Still, it's gonna be enough right there. Up throw will secure the stock and not too much damage, not heavy at all on I'm hip right now. 29 percent Oh, air strength, armor's through, yeah, that allows him to get a reversal. Oh, okay. That blue Pikmin that was the forward smash just died yeah. straight up, I don't even know how. That's sad, because he like parried into like Pikmin dying. <laughs> right. And I think very interesting for my hip is challenging the challenging the, the wolf up B. But I mean, it's one of those things where, I mean, if you have a destroy that might as well, why not? Especially if it's a purple Pikmin, you might be able to get something going. So up throw. Nice, beautiful counterplay right there from I'm Hip, armoring the up air and just answering with an immediate back air. I'm Hip moving up a stock. Yep. A lot of stuff from Wolf, they're usually strings and not so much combos a lot of the time. So if you know and recognize that, like that up throw the up air, you can armor through and you got a great reversal off of that. Absolutely. 
Alarian making haste on that stock and not taking any percent already. One grab, putting it in his favor. Forward airs to forward air. Back air comes out. Oh, catches him trying to go through the platform and gets an up air afterwards. And so, awesome option. Another another tool of Wolves that hits below the ledge and can catch a two frame. Oh, there is a dash attack. It's the weak hit, so it's gonna pop him up. Not quite gonna be able to. Get Ooh, okay, no jump position. here. The purple Pikmin, that should do the trick. Yes, not enough distance, not up B, and not Wolf Flash would make it back there. Yeah. You can see the Wolf is just inches from the, yeah. from the stage. I don't know, maybe if he waited just a little bit longer, but it was one of those situations where I'm hit probably would be able to if, cover the edge. Yeah, exactly. Anyway. If he if he waited a little bit longer, he may have been, like if he drifted in towards the stage, he may have been able to make it back to the ledge with an up angled uh, Wolf Flash. But it's like you said, it, 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 it would have given I'm Hip so much time to just cover that option anyways. Going back to Fox. Yeah. Okay. okay, and this is game number five. Mm -hmm. I like what Larry's doing. He's using his different spaces to cover different stage options. Yeah. And it's like, okay, you didn't ban Smash Room because you're scared of the wolf picks. So I'm going to go and go to back to the stage where I want to. Now that uh, DSR is not a thing in the California rule set, so you can opt to do that as much as you want. Yeah, it's not looking like DSR or no DSR is going to matter much to I'm hip as he's already got 75% on Larry Bird. Uh, a lot of up smashes coming out, in fact. So it's, it seems like I'm hip is catching on to Larry's jump habits, which is typically how he's been approaching throughout the set is uh, jumping in with neutral air, jumping in uh, with the attack cancels back there. Ooh, the jab jab, but not able to find a follow afterwards. There is an opportunity here. He's gonna take out the ledge. Oof. Can't believe that down tilt didn't hit, actually. Okay, forward smash already. Larry is taking a lot of damage on this second stock. Back air there, able to clean out I'm Hips first. And we're down to two stocks apiece. Still. Uh, quite a considerable amount of damage to make up for Larry right here. The up air is nearly halfway there. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. He got so much damage off those up airs because he was trying to land. He's got another chance at a chase here and putting him off stage one more time. 75% already tacked on. Oh, and finally the Nair barely clips him before he can even go into the air. If he can stuff out the box before he actually has the uh, opportunity to jump in, then sometimes you can get away with Scott Free. Alright, carefully spacing out his back air right here is going to be a kill option. Still not enough right there, a little bit closer to the edge, and it would have been it. Landing neutral air is not going to confirm into the down smash, sending I'm hip a little bit too far away. Still the advantage in Larry's favor, putting him back at the ledge just as he knows uh, he's best at. Try to go in before I'm hit at the time to set up and then you recognize, okay, you got this one. So I'll just try and get that neutral win another time. He kills the yellow. What can he do here? I mean, sometimes it's hard for Fox to really find anything. If yeah. you're stuck at the ledge and you're not getting up air and you're not getting force smash, then sometimes it's hard for Fox to really start anything. And then there is, it is again what I'm talking about. I'm hip recognizing these approach patterns from Larry. He uh, completely obliterated that jump cancel back air with the up smash. And Larry also bringing it right back. I was going to say, person to take that last stock was in a really pivotal moment. They would have had to get so much per extra percent to really be in any considerable lead. And I'm hit keeping the momentum, though, 74 already on to Larry. Yep. Oh, lands back with the fair. And now he's got suddenly a lot of damage. Oh, and the fourth oh, throw comes man. out. This is potentially it. Oh. Can he get the dare? No, he does not. He offers for the ledge trap instead. Oh, oh but the throw. Into the fourth throw, still not enough to take it. Larry Lair still got a second shot. He's got a third shot here, but the purple just snipes him out of the and air. The side B Pikmin toss will do it. A game five victory for I'm Hip. Defeating uh, who I would say is one of his demons for sure. <laughs> you, see, you see I'm Hip right there? Yeah. He's, he 